Hi guys and welcome to my third YouTube tutorial on processing. Um, this tutorial is about functions or methods or, or whatever terminology you want to use. Um, and with um, this tutorial I'm going to show you exactly how to use them in your sketches. So as usual I'm going to start off by typing void draw and void setup. Um, um, <laughs> maybe I should keep to the standards and do this the other way around, hang on. Put that there and put this here. Let's format that as well. In um, void si uh, setup we're going to put the size to 400 by 400 like we did last time. So remember this sets the size of the screen. Yep. Um, and then in void draw we can draw, let's just draw an ellipse for demonstration purposes um, to start us off. 40, 40, 40, 40. Mm, let's make that a rectangle, actually. A rectangle, there we go. And if we just press play, we got a rectangle on the screen. Now what I'm going to do is put in the background at 255. Actually, no, let's, let's make it black today. Let's be different. <laughs> um, so I've got a, black, uh, a background in at um, 255 now, which has made it black. A uh, background in at zero, which has made it black, and the rectangle's default color is 255, which is white. So much you can do is fill that rectangle. Um, mm, let's do it green, or um, maybe we will do it magenta. This is that right? Yeah. And uh, you remember last time we were able to make that square move just by putting in some um, putting in some variables. So let's put in a new variable, um, move y, and let's do move y and move x. So we've got two variables now, two integer variables, which means it can only be a positive whole number. Um, move y and move x, and we're going to use them for our rectangle. And so its position at the moment on the x and the y is. 40 on the X, 40 on the Y. So I'm going to put move X here and move Y here. And what we're going to do in, in setup is say move Y is equal to 0. And move X is equal to 0. And we are going to say um, move y plus plus move x plus plus and if we run that we now have it moving to the other corner of the screen okay so we got ourselves a basic animation running now um, now what I'm going to do is put in an if statement I'm going to say if move y is equal to um, height is greater than or equal to height. If move y is greater than or equal to height, move y minus minus. Um, sorry, no, move y equals zero. Let's do that. Yeah. Um, and then we're going to do something called nesting, which is where you put an if statement within another if statement. And we're going to say move if move x is greater than or equal to width move x is equal to zero so what this will do if I just show you when it hits the y it goes back to here now the other thing we're going to do is we've got a rectangle at move x move y we're going to say if move y minus 20 because that's half the um, size of the rectangle so that means maybe you want minus 40 actually minus 40 there we go so when it hits the rectangle it will go back up when it hits the corner oh no it's the other way around Move away plus 40. Nesting it's kind of bad here actually because if y isn't true, 
it's not going to reach X, uh, the um, X. It's not going to test X. So what we want to do is actually take them out of that. So yeah, it's move Y plus 40 or move X plus 40. And if move Y plus 40 is greater than or equal to the height, move Y is equal to zero again, moving it back up to the um, top left corner. Or if move X plus 40 is greater than or equal to width, move X is equal to zero again. Um, so we want to be, yeah, that does the same thing, it moves it back up to the top left corner. So um, that's what's happening there. So we created a little animation. So now what we need to do is use all this code, but stick it into a new method, which is where um, this tutorial's main point is um, about using methods. So we're going to create something called, um, hmm, what should we call this? Void animate rect because it's animating a rectangle. So that's what this function does. It animates a rectangle. So what we're going to do, sorry, is call animate rect. There we go. So it's doing exactly the same thing. I've just called it differently. So create a new function called animate rect and then called that within void draw. Um, okay. That actually reminds me actually, um, at the beginning you may have noticed I've got a different animation for my um, starting title sequence now. I think that's all I've changed this uh, tutorial anyway. But anyway, yeah, let's continue. So, let's just go through some stuff here, some terminology, just to get your head around things. So what we've got, we've got this integer here, move y, and another integer called move x. And again, I'm using the listing, me uh, the listing way to do it, but of course you can do it the other way, as I mentioned before which is in move y and in move x like that just make sure you close off every line um, and in the setup I'm saying move y is equal to zero and move x is equal to zero and then I'm setting up the size of the screen so um, so yeah that that sets this box up um, and then I've created a new method which I've called animate rectangle which fills the background to black um, and the fill colour is uh, magenta and the rectangle is using the move x and move y variable to declare where it's going to move move y plus plus move x plus plus that means move y I, think I mentioned this before move y is equal to move y plus 1 that's what that means and this again means move x is equal to move x plus 1 and um, then we've got two if statements this one's if move y plus 40 is greater than or equal to height move y equals 0 if move x plus 40 is greater than or equal to width move x equals 0 um, and that's basically saying so if the y position of this square reaches the bottom plus its plus its own um, height, then move it back to zero, move it back to the top. And the same with x, it's saying if it reaches its own width plus 40, because remember it's, it's drawing it from the um, top left corner, so we have to um, we have to make sure we are um, compensating for that with the plus 40 here. So it's greater than its width, move it back to zero as well. And then we are calling that new method in here. So we can do that for anything. Now what I could even do is say print line just to just to for demonstration purposes, just to show you this, I'm gonna call print line, which is a method which prints the line of um any variables you choose. So I'm just gonna show you that. Here's print line. So it basically says um, writes data to a print writer object stream and then starts a new line. So that, that's what it does. So that's going to print it out in the console basically. So this is how we're going to do it. We're going to say print line the x position is so that's a string that I wrote here so that's going to print just that's going to print exactly what I wrote here. Um, oops. The x position is 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 there we go. The X position is and then you do plus move at X. And then you can say 
the y position is plus move y and that will show you the x and the y position for this object so if I press play oh oh sorry yeah you're supposed to put a plus here as well so you can see what I've done here I'm, at, I'm saying this string plus um, this um, integer variable plus this string plus this integer variable and it creates um, a l what, it, what you want to print so it's saying print line these values so I'll show you that in console now there you go it's telling us the x position and it's telling us the y position so it's saying the x position is 300 um, and the y position is 300 and then when it gets to 400 it flips back and it does the same thing you can see that going back to zero if you watch it should go back to zero right about now there you go so that's a good example of print line you'll find print line very very useful later on so if you um, if you've got loads of variables and you're making a game for example you, you'll find that extremely useful um, at the end of this tutorial I will put this code um, in my comment so you can see exactly what I've done and play around with it yourself and um, create your own methods and call them or um, create um, or play around with um, these these animations and see if you can get some bouncing effects or do whatever you want with them, you know. Um, so I will put that in, in the comment a link to this code. Okay, so we've called this method animate rectangle. So what about if we wanted to call two or three or four methods? So let's create another method just to show you that that can be done. Um, void. Um, let's create a print results method. Oh, void print results. And in this print results method, we're going to do what we did had before, and we're going to just say print line variable um, print line x pos x position is and x um yep and x pos no it's move x isn't it sorry and x move x plus y position is plus move y and that will again print the x position and the y position so what we need to do to do that is go to print results and that will work so it's printing all the positions again whereas if I take this out just to show you it won't call it at all so it's not actually calling it that's old data it's not printing at all it's not calling it it's not printing anything in the console um, the reason for this is that nothing will print unless you tell it to loop and you can only tell it to loop in processing if you call it in the void draw function uh, anything you call in the void setup function will only run once at the beginning so I've just, I, I might have told you that before I'm, I'm just reminding you this is important to get these things drilled in <laughs> before you um, start co coding deeper really um, okay so now we've created a few methods and I've shown you how they work I'm actually going to save that I'm going to save it as um, save it in a new folder. Let's go to processing and tutorials, and let's call that tutorial three. Okay, so now I've got this process and catch tutorial three for you guys. So that's how you do methods. Um, it's quite been quite a short tutorial but I want to try and make them shorter and shorter so you can just jump from one to the next and hopefully it will make it a lot easier for you guys to um, take everything in in more bite sized chunks um, I hope this has been insi um, insightful and you can um, learn from it and uh, thank you for watching I'll see you next tutorial